Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic PCs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and create a Hyper-V virtual machine. So I hope you guys like that little intro I put together, just trying to change things up a little bit. Um, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is go over to Control Panel. You can do this really quickly by right-clicking on the Start button in Windows 10, hitting Control Panel. Then we're going to go over to Programs and turn Windows Features on or off. When you click here, this little window will pop up and you just want to make sure that you click Hyper-V and enable that. Once you do, it'll ask you to restart your computer to install updates since Hyper-V is a update to Windows. Once you do that, you can just open Hyper-V like you would any other program and your Hyper-V manager is going to open. So this is my virtual machine from the um, upgrade to Windows Server 2016. This has been going for 8 days, 6 hours, 41 minutes, and 50 seconds. I'm actually going to turn this off because uh, I don't need this anymore, uh, or at least running. And this is my Plex server, which has been running for 11 days, 2 hours, and 53 seconds, or 2 minutes, 55. Um, so really quickly, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a Hyper-V switch. I already have one created, but this is how you would create another one. Um, you would come here and you would uh, select a external switch if you want your virtual machine to be able to connect to the internet. So we'll create a virtual switch. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll name it. I'll just name it vSwitch2. Um, you can put notes in there if you want. And then you can select your network connection. Uh, so my computer has four networking ports. I'm just going to select the first one. Um, and let's say your computer only has one network interface. You're going to want to select this little allow management operating system to share this network adapter. Uh, that way that your computer and the virtual machine can both use it. Um, and then we just hit apply. Uh, you would lose internet for a second if it was the one that uh, is your primary. You hit OK. Now we're going to create a virtual machine. So you go over here, new virtual machine, next, and we can start naming it. So I'll just name this um, Windows 10 um, VM. Uh, just select Gen 2. Um, it's just got some newer features that I can explain in another video. Uh, then you want to turn off dynamic memory, uh, and then you'll put in an amount of RAM. So my computer, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. I'm just going to go ahead and give it four gigabytes. If your computer only has eight gigabytes, you might only want to give it one or two. Um, the amount of RAM you give it will be utilized at all times. So my uh, Plex server is constantly using four gigabytes of my system RAM. So I'll just hit next. Uh, then connection, connect it to your virtual switch. Next. And then this is where it allows you to create a virtual disk. So by default, it'll go to your documents folder. However, if you're working on something like an SSD and you don't have a ton of space, you're going to want to put it somewhere else. Um, I'll just hit browse. And then I have a folder called virtual uh, machine disks. I'll just throw that in there. Uh, and then size windows, you only need like 40 gigabytes um, for like an install and then a bunch of programs. So I'll just go ahead and give this 40 gigabytes. It's going to start off as um, zero bytes. And when I install Windows, which usually takes about 13 gigabytes, the size of it will go up to 13 gigabytes. Um, I can make this 64 terabytes, um, but it's not going to take up 64 terabytes on my disk. It's just going to have the capacity to fill that much space. So we'll go ahead and I'll just make it 40 gigabytes. Um, and then we can select an operating system. So I'm just going to go ahead select this and once again the same folder I've got Windows Server 2010 or out uh, Windows 10 next next and it'll create the disk then all you have to do I'll connect to it and then this little green button right here starts it and I'll just select my DVD and bam 
So that's all you need to do to create a Windows or any operating system virtual machine using Hyper-V, which is free for Windows. Um, alternatively, you could use VirtualBox, which is a great software made by Oracle. However, Hyper-V is built into Windows. You don't have to do anything. You just got to enable it and you're all set. So if you guys like this video, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really did, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see future video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And until next time, peace out.